Hey Psych2Go family, and welcome back to another video. Before we start, we wanted to give a huge thanks for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's aim is to make psychology more accessible to everyone. So let's begin. Wild daydreaming is a fun little pastime for most people. Some individuals experience frequent and intrusive daydreams that can interfere with their daily lives. Do you possibly find yourself daydreaming so much that it begins to negatively interfere with your life? This excessive type of daydreaming is a central theme of maladaptive dreaming, a type of daydreaming that greatly disturbs everyday functioning and quality of life. Please take note that maladaptive daydreaming, also known as MD, is not classified as a mental disorder in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders. There has been limited research done on MD compared to other more well-known disorders. This video is not intended to point to a certifiable diagnosis of MD, so please do not try to diagnose yourself or others. With that said, here are five signs of maladaptive daydreaming. One, you get so caught up in daydreaming that you forget where you are. If you find yourself confused about where you are or what you're doing because you've been daydreaming excessively, it could be negatively impacting your work and personal life. Two, you feel distressed about the amount of time you spend daydreaming. Patients who reported excessive maladaptive daydreaming were also reportedly distressed from the amount of time they devoted to daydreaming. For example, one woman struggling with MD reported walking in circles while shaking a string in her hand for several hours out of the day. She enjoyed doing that, but was also conflicted from the amount of time she spent daydreaming. She had other obligations she couldn't attend because she was wound up spending all of her time daydreaming instead. Three, you would rather daydream than talk to people. Do you find yourself preferring to daydream over other social activities or hobbies? If so, you may be experiencing a symptom of maladaptive dreaming. This was identified as a common symptom among people who struggle with MD. Four, maladaptive dreaming changes your perception of the world. People who report MD express that their senses are heightened when they daydream. They might feel tactile sensations or hear audible sounds or visually be able to see the things they're daydreaming about. It's at a level that's much more intense and stimulating than a normal everyday daydream. In one case, a person reported a heightened presence in their dreams. In another case, another person said they felt fewer sensations of pain because they were fantasizing about their idealized self. And number five, you cannot control your daydreaming. Some people experience challenges in trying to limit the time they devote to daydreaming. If someone is unable to regulate their daydreaming into a proper check and balance, this may be an underlying sign of a bigger problem. Maladaptive daydreaming is a slippery slope and is something that can greatly interfere with one's daily life, causing ample confusion, distress, and a decline in social interactions. If you're curious to learn more about maladaptive daydreaming, check out our video, What is Maladaptive Daydreaming? The link is in the description below. Have you recognized any of these MD signs within your own life? Or do you know someone else who might exhibit these excessive daydreaming traits? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Also, like and share this video with those who might be interested. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell for more videos. As always, thanks for watching.